Again, from Tenebed Repair Guide. So you want to make a speaker system in your salon and you don't want it to be too costly. There's a way that you can use just one amplifier. I know this is a very small one. This is like a little Class D amplifying um, uh, circuit. But let's say you're taking just like an average receiver from a house and you have a uh, speaker output and um, what you need to make sure of is that what each speaker in your salon has for impedance. That is the most important thing when it comes to uh, connecting these uh, speakers to the amplifier. Not the wattage and all that. That's not a big concern at all, actually. So. This is just a speaker driver, but as you can see on this one here, I don't know if you can see that, it says four ohms. So that's what you're looking for. Typically, when the B on the back of the speaker at the terminal, it will say what ohms. And this is the, if you look at that, is the omega sign. That's what indicates that. Or you look in your, in the, in the data, the, the specifications, you might be able to find that model of speaker online and see what it has for impedance. So let's say that it's all four ohm speakers um, that, that you want to connect. And let's say you got like eight of them. Eight pieces. All right. Your amplifier has two two outputs and for the most part when we're talking about amplifiers for a house like a receiver it will have a range that it is able to uh, to, to do which is 4 to 16 ohms that's for th within that span is where your uh, this impedance should be so the four ohms is actually pushing the very limit of most home uh, receivers, like amplifiers. For some, even it's six ohms. So then you need to be extremely aware if you have some of these four ohm speakers. So but let's say you got eight of them. Let's say that you just connected them all. So you have two outputs. You know you got a left and a right. So you're gonna put four on each of them. Well, if you did this, let's say that you have your amplifiers plus and minus here. These are the terminals, you know, where you connect the speaker wire to. And you take that out and you connect one speaker here. And then you take another wi wire out you connect it equally to the same. Each of these at four ohms. And you do another one. And another one. Four ohms, four ohms. And then you do the it this the other th <laughs> the other uh, output let's say that this is the left channel and then you have the right channel and you do the exact same thing so these were four ohms already pushing the envelope what happens here is that it's easier now even easier so like now we have this resistance of four ohms of, of the impedance of the, which is basically the same the impedance is like a like a alternating current resistant so it is like resistance so now it's four times easier from for getting from plus to minus for the electrons going into the circuit so what that does is actually since these are all now in parallel this circuit is now one ohm death to the amplifier. So how do you do it? How would you do this then? Well,
Okay. Well, this is possible. So we got your plus, you got your minus coming from the amplifier. The two, the red, typically red is plus, the black is minus. And then you will connect to one speaker for your own. And then you will actually take from the other pole, like you will take like see these wires going to the amp uh, to this um, to the speaker. Boom! This one into plus, and this one onto the plus on this next guy here on this next speaker. And then. You connect these two so now what happens is that the, it gets harder for the power to get through it so it says four ohms and then it has to go through another four ohms before it goes to minus so that this circuit creates eight ohms so to use the same logic as before now we can do this Do it's the same kind of circuit again. And what just happened here is that now these two and this circuit up here again go through through 8 ohm. So now we got these two circuits in parallel to one another. So this circuit here of 8 ohms, this circuit here of, of 8 ohms is parallel to one another creating it to be four ohms just like just one of these so that's how you have to do it so you really have to watch these parallel and serial connections when you're connecting many speakers to an amplifier ken from 10 bit repair guide take care guys